everyone what is up and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Danielle and I made the last minute decision to vlog today I haven't vlogged in so long let alone post a video in so long I know I'm bad but I figured I would vlog today and kind of make it like a productive day in my life I have so much to do I wanted to start filming as soon as I woke up, but I was kind of indecisive and my battery also wasn't charged. So kind of already started my morning, but still have so much to do. So I believe it's like 11, yeah, it's almost 11.15. I already had breakfast. I just went to the gym. I just got back home. I did a quick little glute and hamstring workout. It was so good. I could not feel my legs though. Like walking to my car out of the gym, I was just like, <laughs> I probably looked so stupid but it was such a good workout though. I've been like really into going to the gym now. I wouldn't say I'm any sort of gym rat or gym junkie, whatever you wanna freaking call it. Um, Cause I don't go every day. I do not have time for that, but I have been trying to go at least three days a week, sometimes four if I can. Last week I slacked so bad, I was just, caught up like had stuff to do and was with my boyfriend but we're back on track kind of um it's tuesday i don't have work today for those of you who don't know i'm a hairstylist i pretty much base all my videos off of that now but like i said haven't vlogged in a while and i want to vlog today so but i wanted to show you what i had for breakfast today so on days that i go to the gym i usually like to have a kodiak pancake i love this brand kodiak it always has so much good protein in it and i feel like going to the gym you kind of need something like that beforehand so or even afterwards but i have to eat before i go to the gym i cannot have like something small go to the gym then come home and eat breakfast i can't do that I can't do that but I have never tried their protein oats. There's no sugar. There's 10 grams of protein. And literally all you do is you put some of this into a bowl with water, you microwave it, and you're good to go. And then from there on, you can basically add anything you want. You can do fruit, honey, cinnamon, peanut butter, whatever your heart desires. You can kind of make it your own. But it was so good like so good so I highly recommend this even if you don't like oats really you should try their pancake mix so good they have it in chocolate chip blueberry cinnamon oat so good but yeah so like I said already went to the gym so now I need to shower oh before I shower I forgot I put my comforter in the wash so I need to put that in the dryer also if any of you guys cared um this is my gym outfit <laughs> It's pretty much all from Gymshark. The shirt, Gymshark, it's just a short sleeve and it ties right here. Um, these leggings are the camo adapts. I don't know if they're army green, olive green. I don't know the color on the website. Um, this jacket is from the boutique that's inside of our salon. And then my sneakers are the Nike Air Max 270 React. So yeah, just in case any of you guys cared what I was wearing, but okay, I need to shower. Um, excuse me, ma'am? Um, excuse me, <laughs> I need to shower. <laughs> Does anyone else's cat do this or either go in the sink too? Like, what the frick? Um, excuse me, are you gonna shower with me? 
I don't think you'll be very happy. <laughs> Come on. All right, so just took a shower and now I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on. For moisturizer, I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I have really bad combination skin, so it's dry and oily, and I feel like that helps a lot, so love that stuff. My lips have been so chapped lately. I don't know why. Could be just like the temperature change, but I'm just gonna put some of the Hemp's Ultra Moisturizing lip balm i got this stuff from ulta and it works amazing i also got one of their um, lip scrubs it's the sugar cane and papaya one but that's more for like nighttime and the balm is for daytime one of the stops i have to do today is actually ulta because i basically have no more mascara left i haven't for like two weeks but I've just been trying my best to work with what's on like the little brush <laughs> so bad. And I also need a few more things at Ulta. So that will be one of the things we do today. The main thing I have to do today is get my nails done. I usually go every two weeks, but I decided to wait an extra week and see how I thought three weeks would turn out. It's really not that bad. They definitely are very grown out, but I feel like they still look good. The color still looks good. So I was just kind of testing it out because I've been getting my nails done every two weeks for basically two years now. I go every two weeks on the Tuesday. So my nail tech was probably like, um, where's Danielle? But I ended up calling her and I was like, um, I'm gonna wait an extra week just to see like, what I think and if I can work with going every three weeks she's like okay no worries but I don't know because they're really grown out and when I'm working at the salon with really grown out nails I don't know I'm just afraid that they're too long and that they're gonna fall off so maybe I just have to get them like shorter so that in the three week span they grow out and look normal I don't know but I just put on some clear brow gel the Anastasia Beverly Hills one <sighs> I'm debating if I want to do like anything on my face I think I'm just gonna do some bronzer like nothing crazy I recently got this palette at Ulta not too long ago I do not know how to pronounce this it's just a bronzer palette it comes with two different shades this one is a little bit lighter and this one obviously is very dark i'll probably use the darker one in the summertime but for now i'm just gonna stick with the lighter one because i'm super pale right now everyone's like oh like just self tan do like the tanning bed twice a week and i'm like no i used to self tan when i was in high school and I'd freaking use the Jergens Natural Glow. It was freaking disgusting. It smelled like crap. And I don't know. I just don't feel like dealing with the hassle of self tanning. And I feel like it always comes out terrible and splotchy. So I'd rather just deal with my pale skin and just wait till summer. Because in the summer, I get so tan. So it's just like whatever. But my nail appointment isn't until 1.15. And it's pretty much almost 12 o'clock right now. But I do want to go to Salon Centric before I get my nails done. Just to get one of the errands out of the way. Because Salon Centric is having a 20% off all Redken. And then 40% off like Redken tools. And I have to restock on some stuff anyways. But I was waiting for today because the sale's only going on um it, yesterday and today so have to go today before they stop that so i'll do like a salon centric haul for you guys later but yeah i think this is good for the face and then i'm just gonna do mascara i use the lash brag from anastasia beverly hills it's literally nothing in here but it's fine all right we made it work so now all I have to do is just blow dry my hair, get dressed, and then 
I'll talk to you guys after. Well, um, I was just in the middle of blow drying my hair and our freaking electricity went off. So that's great. <laughs> Honestly, I got it pretty dry anyways. If anything, the back is just a little wet, but I really don't care. It's not that big of a deal. So we're just gonna deal with it. Like all of this is still wet. <laughs> But we're just going to deal with it. I'm going to get dressed and then head to Salon Centric. Alright, so it's a little bit later. I went to Salon Centric and got my nails done. And this is how they turned out. Basically just like a little like creamish nude color, I guess you could say. Very natural and simple. So when I said I lost power at my house, so did like half of my area. So... Salon Centric was having some issues with their computers. They, we did get electricity back, but yeah, like Wi-Fi and their computers got all messed up. So I was there way longer than I thought I was gonna be and had to like rush to get to my nail appointment. So I have my goods in the back. I'll do a little haul when I get home, but it's already 2.40. I have not eaten lunch, so I ordered food online and I'm gonna go pick it up and then I'll talk to you guys when I get home. All right, I'm back home and this is what I got for lunch. It's a Southwest bowl. So it has rice, avocado, salsa, olives, chicken, cheese, corn, and beans. Looks so good. Also, here's a better view of my nails. I feel like you couldn't tell in the car, but I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat this. All right, I'm back in the car. I just stopped home to eat. I still have some stuff to do. Um, I'm going to drop off some paperwork to my accountant because, like I said, if you didn't know, I'm a hairstylist and I'm a booth renter, so it's basically my own business and I have to do my own taxes each quarter. So I could have the option to do them yearly, but I'd rather just break it up into quarters so it's not so much money owing in one whole, like, session. I'd rather just break them up into quarters. So, quarter one, already done. Like what? It goes by so fast. Quarter one is usually January through March, and then they're not due until April. So you have to make sure you have like all of your bank statements that show the money you've received and the money that you've spent to put into the business and stuff like that. So you can do write-offs. There's just so much that goes into it. But yes, that's what I'll be doing right now is dropping off my paperwork. And then I want to stop at Ulta quick to grab some things. And then I'll finally be home for good. And I'll do like all my hauls, salon centric, Ulta, when I get back. I'm finally back home for good. <laughs> it's 4.15. I'm going to show you what I got at Ulta. Nothing crazy. I really only go there to like pick stuff up. I don't splurge when I'm there because I'd be spending like $300 if I did. But I just picked up my brunette dry shampoo from Batiste. And then like I said, I needed more of the Lash Brag Mascara from Anastasia. And then I needed more of the clear brow gel also from Anastasia. So that's all from there. And then as far as salon centric goes, I'll get my bags. So like I said, they were having 20% off of all the Redken brand. So stocked up on everything that I needed. I got three bags of lightener, a bunch of permanent root colors. I got a box of foils. And then I also got the acidic perfecting concentrate leave-in treatment we used to actually like sell this at the salon and we had it on back bar i loved it and then we got rid of it but once i saw that and knew it was on sale i was like i'm getting it and then in this bag i'm not even gonna pick it up because it's so freaking heavy but i stocked up on all of my developers processing solutions and i recently went to salon centric already to stock up on all of my redkin shades eq which i should have waited but it is what it is but i just got a few 
of the ends because those are the ones I use the most. So yeah, and just to give you guys like a perspective, whether you're in hair school, a hairstylist, a client that gets their hair done, what I bought today was like $330. So product is so expensive. And I feel like a lot of clients don't really realize that us hairstylists, when we do booth rent, have to buy product and it's like really freaking expensive and that's why we charge what we charge so just keep that in mind i know if you're a hairstylist or in hair school you know what i'm talking about but if you're someone not in the industry just remember product is expensive but yeah so finally done running all of my errands i have work tomorrow at nine my work week was actually looking pretty rough, but throughout yesterday and today, it pretty much got filled up and booked, so very thankful for that. It was so weird, like the beginning of March was so good and so busy, and then just like this last week of March was so weird, but I just can't wait for summer. It's going to be so busy, and I have like a bunch of weddings, and I can't wait. But yeah, so pretty much for the rest of the day, I mean, my mom's going to make dinner later, so I'll have that. And then literally just lay in bed. I'm still waiting for <laughs> my comforter to dry because the electricity went off while it was drying, so it's still wet. But yeah, and then literally just going to lay in bed and watch TV till I go to sleep. So I'm just going to end this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.